All right. Oh, wow. We're starting off with a few viewers. Isn't that cute? Oh, I haven't shaved in quite some time. And uh, I like to shave. As anybody who knows me knows. Uh, first thing I do, summer's over, kids. Vacation's over. Time to keep it clean. Um, as anybody who knows me knows, I wash the face first. Uh, yeah. Clean skin is happy skin. So I wash the face first. wash the face before I do the shave because the oils in the soap, because I use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, but the oils in the soap um, have, you know, make it harder to rinse. I don't get a clean rinse right away. So I got to keep rinsing to get a clean rinse. Anyway. As for the shave, my trusty safety razor, old school, um, synthetic bristle brush. No animals were harmed in the production of this very soft shaving brush. Um, and courtesy of my friends at CO Bigelow, I got a new shaving mug. How cool is that? Look at this. A little shaving mug. I put the cream in there, whip it around. We're gonna do that right now. And also speaking of my friends at CO Bigelow, the CO Bigelow shave cream made by our friends at Pro Rasa. And I wind it up because you wanna get all the good stuff out before you discard of a used tube. Toothpaste used to come in metal tubes like this, but now it's rather plastic. Now. This shave cream is very concentrated, so you don't need a ton. In fact, this is probably too much, but like I literally put that much in the mug. And um, I'm gonna wet the brush a tiny bit, rinse it out, and uh, whip it up, literally. We got eight viewers. Hi, guys. Um, okay. We are back to work, kids. The more you whip it, the creamier and the more luscious it gets. Mmm. And I love that little knob that you put between your fingers so you don't, so the mug doesn't slip out of your hands. I mean, I suppose you could do this. Not I suppose, I know you can do this with a shallow coffee mug. You could definitely do this with a shallow coffee mug. This was a gift from my friends at CO Bigelow because I love those guys. Look at that lather. Like when you whip this up just right, you get a lather that rivals the foam level of a, like a aerosol shave cream, but this is better because it's creamier. Mmm. Nice. Uh, 
This is, by the way, going out live exclusively to my Patreon subscribers who are watching, and I thank you very much. Uh, let's see, I can't read this, Julie. Kind of like salt and pepper look on you. Uh, but it can be itchy. Yes, it is. Thank you. All right. And now we fill the basin. All right, here we go. Oh, so nice. That creamy lather is so good. The only drag about safety razors is that you can't travel with them unless you're checking the bag. But if you're just traveling with a carry-on, you can't travel with these. It sucks. So I have, um, uh, Disposables for travel. And travel size shave cream. Instead of that large tube. That's the only drag about the safety razor, because I love this razor. You can get it at the Art of Shaving or Amazon. Although I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think, oh shit, do we not, this fucking sink does not hold water, literally. Um, I think, I gotta look at Gillette's website. Something in my mind is telling me that Gillette now does safety razors again, like these, like old timey safety razors. And I think they make, yeah, the single bolt safety razor blades. I think they do. I'm not totally sure. I gotta look at that. That sound in the background is the air conditioner. Sorry about that. Oh, and I have to fix the drain stop in my bathroom sink here because the water is not is going down, down, down. Home maintenance, man. It's never done.
Damn it. My favorite shave is the one like this when it's been a few days. Because your skin, after a shave, I don't care how many blades you use on your cartridge, your skin needs time to recover. And after it's been a day or two or more, your skin is fully recovered and it's like, Smooth sailing. thinking of doing since the Patreon, since you guys on Patreon get to watch this live, once it's done, I might make the playback available to the public, but the live should be an exclusive to you guys. I'll be doing an episode of Han Solo for tomorrow, you know. I noticed today in my podcast feed that uh, Alec Baldwin has a new episode out of Here's the Thing, his podcast, which I've always liked. And he's talking to Justine Bateman, Jason's sister, about AI. She's been talk she's been making the rounds to, um, laying it down about uh, AI's effect on writers and actors. Morning, Teresa. I can see some words without glasses, not all of them. All right, I think we're done here. Um, but Justine has been talking about AI. And how it relates or what it's going to mean for writers and actors and stuff. And Alec is talking to her, so I look forward to listening to that. Uh, and then in a little while, 10.30 to be specific, I'll be live in Central Park for my morning walk. On Instagram. On Instagram Live! I would do it on TikTok, but TikTok doesn't save the lives. Like, it's one and done. And that's kind of it. And also, I can monetize the live walks on Instagram. I can't do that with TikTok. It's not that I'm aware of. I gotta maybe look into that. I have a bigger audience. TikTok. Anyway, enough about me. More about shaving. So now that we're done shaving. Uh, uh. There we go. Oh, so nice. Now that we're done with that, we rinse cold water and hit the shower. So thanks for watching. That was fun. How long did that take? That was 15 minutes. That's how long my shave lasts. Some guys do it quicker, but I'm also talking. So anyway, thanks for watching. Happy end of summer. The work week is back.
Let's get to it. All right, see ya.